Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Blueprints video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss vinterp2 function in Unreal Blueprint. vinterp2 function is most commonly used to change location and scale of an actor smoothly. vinterp2 function is most commonly used to change location and scale of an actor smoothly because location and scale have three values. V stands for vector. Vector also has three values. To understand V interp2 function, we take an example of moving a cube from one location to another location smoothly. There are many ways we have to move a cube or any actor from one location to another location. In this video, we understand how we can move an actor from one location to another location smoothly using V interp2 function guide. So let's get started. I go to level one. I add a cube, I reset its location to 0, 0, 0. Then I bring an actor, empty actor, I reset its location to 0, 0, 0 and rename it to target A. And then I duplicate it, rename it to target B. Target A location I set in y axis 500. Target B location in y axis I set minus 500 so we have target b target a we want to move this cube towards target a and then towards target b alternatively i set its mobility to movable and then i get the reference to cube target a and target b go to level blueprint right click and say create reference to three selected actors you see we got reference to cube target a and target b okay now I say get actor location. I say here get actor location. So we have got actor location for cube as well as target A. Okay, next I search for v interp2 function. Here cube actor location I set as current and target A actor location I set as target. Delta seconds I give here to delta time and interpolation speed I give 0.5. Then I get the reference to the cube and say set actor location, connect the execution pins, return value is going to be the new location. So what happens here is on every frame v interp2 function adds delta time to cube actor location and returns a value which is going to be a new location of the cube. It does it on every frame on this interpolation speed guys. So what happens the cube actor location slowly changes to target a actor location guys. You, if I say compile save come to level 1 and play you see that the cube is moving towards target a right. If I say here instead of target a if I say target b compile save come to level 1 and play you see it is moving towards target b right so what is happening here cube actor location is slowly changing and it is moving towards the given target actor location that is what the v interp2 function does let me give target a back here compile save come to level 1 and play now you see it is going towards target a right so that is how the v interp2 function is used to change location of the actor uh, smoothly guys okay anyhow that's fine now once it reaches to target a okay if the cube reaches to target a we want it to go back towards target b okay so for that what i do i am going to create one variable here called as target a reached compile initially it is false okay here i am going to say branch i am going to say branch i am using a branch node connect the execution pins connect the true pin over here and then I bring target A reached. Target A reached is equal to false. Target A reached is false and here this pin is also false. So false false both are same so it, wrote, it is going to return true guys. So if it is true definitely the true pin is executed right true pin is executed. So what happens the cube moves towards target A. Understanding? 
Now I am going to check whether the cube actor location has become same as target A actor location. Right. Copy this and paste down. Here I am going to say equal whether cube actor location has become same as target A actor location. I search for branch. If cube actor location has become same as target a actor location then definitely we say set target a reached equals to true right so it is going to become true next what i do i am going to copy this entire setup okay i am going to copy this entire setup copy this control c control v okay i connect the false pin to this execution pin set actor location and the delta seconds I am going to set to the interp2 function here instead of target A now we are going to use target B so once it reaches to target A of course what should happen now cube should move towards target B so that is what V interp2 is going to do it takes the current uh, cubes actor location and slowly changes to target B actor location so slowly the cube moves towards uh, uh, the target b and then i am checking here whether whether i am going to copy this and paste whether cube actor location has become has become same as target b actor location if it becomes same then we say target a reached equal to false so that it, it should go back to the target a right and here i give a threshold of here I give a tolerance of 50. Here I give a tolerance of 50. Okay, 50. I'm going to compile and save. Now what happens you understand guys. Okay, very simple. First, it checks whether target A reached equals to false. Of course, target A reached is false. So it makes the cube go towards target A. Okay, it makes the cube go towards target A. And when the cube reaches to target A, it sets, sets target A reached equal to true. And when target A reached equal to true, the false pin is executed. So what happens? The cube starts moving towards target B. When the cube reaches to target B, okay, we say target A reached equal to false. When target A reached equal to false, true pin is executed. Cube goes towards target A. So if I say compile save, come to level and, and play. You see cube is moving towards target A. Once it reaches to target A, it goes towards target B. Once it reaches to target B, it goes towards target A. So like that, you can make an actor move alternatively left and right. So if you want any time, you can change the location of target A and target B. So let's say I move the target B little away and I move the target A little away. If I play, you see it moves to target A. Once it reaches target A, it goes towards target B. And once it reaches to target B, it goes towards target A. So that is how the V interp2 function we use to change location of an actor. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to try it yourself. Okay. You have to try it yourself one or two times, guys. Okay. If you try and experiment, you get more clear idea, friends. For this video tutorial, this much is enough, guys. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss more about Unreal Blueprints. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep designing, keep sharing. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.